welcome back to another movie review. So this one is for a movie I didn't even know existed. Uh, honestly, I was kind of just like trolling through the FX website since if you sign in with your cable provider, you can view stuff for free on there too. So why not? Why not get the best or uh, the most out of your subscriptions you're already paying for, right? Right. So one that popped up was called Office Christmas Party, which now has nothing to do with The Office. This is not a Ricky Gervais thing. Um, Jason Bateman, though, which, because of Will Arnett, now I just laugh every time I see Bateman's face pop up on anything. But, oh, it's not just Bateman. We have Jennifer Aniston. I'm like, oh, God, this movie looks terrible. I'm gonna watch it because it looks so terrible because apparently I have no fucking standards. So I watched it and honestly the whole vibe of this film gives off that like really early 2000s quickly cranked out practically shovelware but is a movie type quality of really stupid humor movies. You know the genre. I know damn well you know the genre. Here's the thing, it was made in 2016, and it feels like that. I was like, oh, oh god, that makes it that much worse, oh god. Um, so, basically, the gist of it, this dude who's been a fuck-up at literally every single thing in his life, oh, like me, uh, inherited a company from his dad, has basically been given a free pass at everything in his life just for being his dad's favorite. The dad died, left him the company. Uh, his older sister also runs different branches of the company and stuff. She's been closing down branches she thought were not being productive enough, making enough money, what have you. I don't work in the corporate world. I don't understand how this shit works, okay? But anyway, um... So, she's being a heartless bitch about it, and is basically threatening to close down his branch of it, even though it was literally the father's branch of this company, uh, if they don't increase their profit margins to something crazy like 13%, even though, like, the industry standard, at least in this world, is, like, 7 And he's like, dude, we grew by, like, 6.5. That's pretty close. And she's like, yeah, no, nah, I changed it, so... By the end of the quarter. And he's like, the end of the quarter is in two days. She's like, I know. Oops. Because, of course, Jennifer Aniston is a cold hard bitch. Seriously, she is not playing her role from Friends on here. Um, Basically, she just, I don't know. I don't get why people like her. All right? And I just, she gets under my skin. I know I've talked about it on this channel before because my dad constantly made the fucking comparison to her all growing up of why can't you be more like her? And my go-to answer was always like, because I'm already a Jennifer A. There can only be one, and it's me. <laughs> As if this were like a battle to the death. But it's just like, yeah, fuck Jennifer Aniston, dude. Only just because of the constant comparison thing, and the fact that he still, to this day, likes her better than me, and I'm his own kid. But, um, I digress. So, yeah. That. She bugs me for that. I realize this is not her fault. She has nothing to do with my own personal family drama, but that aside, she still just bugs me because of it. So seeing her play a bitch in something like this, I'm like, I knew it! I knew she was a terrible person, even though I know this is a fictional role and not actually a reflection on her in real life in any way, shape, or form, but don't come at me in the comments. I know. I logically know. It's just so easy to hate her in something like this. But anyway, so the dude's idea to save this company is he's going to go against his sister's wishes of not throwing a holiday party because she views it as an unnecessary expense, and he's just going to blow all of his money to throw the biggest party he possibly can and invite like this huge head of industry dude that... His sister basically viewed it as, like, it is a physical impossibility, so, yeah, sure, if you landed this client, sure, I'll let you keep your little branch, but we all know that's not gonna happen. So, of course, he manages to make exactly that happen, 
Although, because his particular office branch is like a literal shit show of an office, the dudes look around and is just not impressed, even with this crazy ass party. Until, um, shit goes down and in the, uh, snowblower machine, somebody accidentally puts a pack of cocaine in the snowblower machine and gets this dude high as a fucking kite. And in his highness, he decides, sure, I want to work with you, and has, like, the craziest night of his fucking life. I'm just sitting here watching this movie, like, parties like this one cannot possibly actually exist in real life. Like, there's no fucking way. Like, this whole thing. Maybe they do, and maybe I'm just that sheltered. I don't know. But the way this whole thing went down, I'm just like, there's no way. Nah. Which just makes the whole thing that much cringier to me watching it, but what do I know? But, um, highlight of the film, no doubt, for Will Arnett is watching, um, Bateman do the eggnog luge. Which, uh, ba basically, trying to do this in a way that won't get me demonetized, uh, basically the shape of this luge and the way that you drink from it looks like a, uh, to put it mildly, looks like he's giving the ice statue something with the initials a B and a J. We'll leave it at that. And he is very into it. And I'm just like, oh, I am positive Will has never let Bateman live this down ever. For, like, ever since. He probably has gifts of this that he, like, spams him with on a regular basis. Just the way that he fucks with him. I have no doubt in my mind he has got these at the ready. But anyway. Oh, God. But this movie's fucking terrible. And yet I watched it anyway. Can I even give it a number rating? I feel like I have PTSD after watching this movie. It was so bad. And at the same time, I can I give it the worst rating? No. I can't even. I will give it a 2 out of 5. Only because it gave me another excuse to just hate Jennifer Aniston for a little bit, and for the eggnog luge scene. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be nice and give it a two instead of a one beca because of these two things. Yep. Yep. I'm that petty. I'm that petty, but it's a fucking terrible ass movie. Like, don't even waste your time with it. It is so bad. Unless you just want to watch something that is god-awful, knock yourself out. Or if your brand of humor happens to be that genre of, like, early 2000s stupid, stupid movie, maybe you'd love it. I don't know, but I just... The fact that this was made in as recently as 2016 and still felt like that and was still that awful, I was like, oh god, no, no, why are we... Why are we still making these? Why? Just... Hmm, Hollywood truly is out of ideas, like, holy balls. Anyway, that is it for this one. <laughs> so hopefully I'll have a better movie to review soon because that was god awful. But I knew going in, I knew going in, even from the title alone, even from just the thumbnail alone, it was going to be a shit show. But I don't think I banked on just how big of one. And yet is it the worst thing I've ever watched? No. Is it even in the running for worst thing I've ever watched? No. That title still, still, firmly goes to cats. <laughs> so anyways, that's it for this one. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, get your name on the end card for a month from the time of donating. The donation link is also down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.